Hello Leos, welcome back. This is your last week of October reading. I'm so excited. I'm Miss Edie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for returning. I appreciate all the likes and all the subscriptions and all the beautiful comments. Keep them coming. Let me know how they're resonating. I'm so happy to see so many views and you guys are my highest viewed videos. So that's exciting guys. So I have a beautiful message for you guys for this week. I've only seen a couple of them because some of them were jumpers, but I'm really excited to see where this goes for you guys. Now we're entering into Scorpio season. So we just survived that whole Libra craziness with all the balancing, things coming and going in our lives, things that we didn't even maybe realize that we were lacking or needing. It's all been brought to our attention now. So now we're going into Scorpio season, which just started with the new moon. And now we're going to be using energies that are going to transform us. So you are going to have sudden endings, sudden beginnings, new opportunities appearing out of nowhere and things that you didn't think would leave will. So there might be some things that uh, are going to be I, I'm just telling you, expect the unexpected. You never know, okay? Both positive, obviously, think positive. So here we go, guys. We're going to get into it. We have your unicorn oracles, your lover's oracles, romance angels, and I use the gilded tarot to give you your weekly message, but I have a surprise, guys. Um, this week, I added two new oracle decks that I'm going to tell you when we get there, so stay tuned and hang in there, and let's see where our message goes today. Don't forget, guys, like. Let me know if it's resonating with you. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to comment them. Let me know what's going on in your situation, and if you need a personal reading, because this is, of course, general, so if it resonates cool if it doesn't you can always clarify anything with me after and just message me and email me at the email address on the bottom here and if you like any daily affirmations moonology all that stuff now with the new moon too i post a lot of that on my instagram missy d tarot there as well okay we're gonna get right into it enough with all that here we go leos your first oracle is the unicorn oracles and we have receive beautiful beautiful card be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance and a gift is coming to you soon. The key to unlocking your great, greatest abundance is your ability to receive. The greater your sense of worthiness, the greater your capacity to accept the gifts and blessings the universe wishes you to have. There are many gifts waiting to come to you right now, but any guilt, shame, or unworthiness in your system will act like a force field to repel your prosperity. Ask yes it is good practice to think positively and be grateful. Send out desires to the universe and say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effective if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good you are asking for. This enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all your heart's desires. They are telling you that all these gifts can, be flow can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds and release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being, and in, good, in doing so, you open your floodgates of abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams just waiting to surprise and delight you. Let, there is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them except to believe that you are amazing so leo's open up to receive all these beautiful blessings i'm sorry i don't know what's wrong with my reading today but there is so many great things coming towards you and i feel like some of you might be blocking that okay so just don't forget whatever happened happened learn heal recover receive right okay here we go your lover's oracles we have three Look deep within your heart and you will feel me and my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So for some of you, you're already connected to your person and that's beautiful. So you might already feel them energetically and keep in mind once you're putting that out there, you're going to attract it back towards you. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So be able to have this space internally heal things let them go because you want to create room for things in your life if you're carrying all this old baggage and it was 444 when i said that so it's definitely divinely protected and you are you are leos you really really are always very it, it it's coming okay friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so for many of you you're having a connection which you know you're deepening it with getting to know each other the more you open up and i know leos it takes some time but when you start trusting that person and you're able to be your truest self what better love is there than the kind of love that you can have with like a friend a best friend right 
it's always a goal in your relationship that your best friend becomes that person. And here we have your romance angels, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you, if someone just came into your life or perhaps you're this person for them, you're definitely, not they're noticing you and you're noticing them. So someone has really sparked your interest. Someone definitely stand out, stands out to you from all the rest. And this could be, you know, if it's a new person, maybe it's encouraging you to begin that friendship with them. And who knows, maybe you've already attracted them because you're there because you know you deserve love. You are lovable, Leos. I'm so happy for you. So I really feel that Cupid Zero is going to strike this week. If not, then any time during the Scorpio season, there's going to be a lot of beautiful transformation where something new is starting, okay? So that's awesome. And know that you deserve love so that you can bring it towards you. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children, okay? So for some of you, you're definitely dealing with a person who already has kids. This person can, of course, be... Be, um, you know, there could be an age difference between you as well, but this person can either have children or you do, and that could be hindering or slowing down or causing delays if there's other factors involved as well. And something that I noticed about this deck recently, which uh, actually this week when I was doing the other readings, and that I kind of really like about it, we'll see if it's relevant in any way later because I've noticed it having some kind of resonating fact here, but there's two dogs, okay? So Leo's, we got two dogs here, and then she's holding a puppy. So I feel like for many of you, this is like a brand new young relationship. Like, of course, it's talking about new love, but you know how it's like, a, it's in the early phases, okay? So you could be just getting to know someone, but the most beautiful way of getting to know someone, like you can also be either connecting with someone who's a little bit more immature. There could be like an age difference, like I mentioned already, but also this person could either be someone that was from your childhood. Maybe there's some re reference for that for you, but for many cases, and of course with the puppy there, and I don't know why I thought it was about puppy love you know you guys are like it's that early phase when it's that honeymoon that cute everything's exciting it's all new experiences okay so just enjoy having that childlike fun together okay here we go we're gonna get in your gilded tarot so i'm excited we're starting with the queen of cups wow here we go leo beautiful water energy right off the bat so you can be dealing of course with water signs we have scorpio um <clears throat> pisces or cancer the Queen of Cups is a beautiful, compassionate woman. She already knows what she wants. You know, she's not going to necessarily go out of her way, but I feel like when she moves, there's a reason and it's with purpose, okay? So this person that you're connecting with or the person that is making an offer to you, they are extending their cup towards you. Now, this can also be you. You can be, you know, making sure, you know, but of course, there's this part where you're also establishing yourself this can be you you know you're making sure your situation's comfortable you have a beautiful environment you know this can be part of you preparing your home too for some of you especially if you're preparing for a relationship there's a lot of healing and things that you have to do and when it's talking about getting rid of all unwanted energy putting out that loving energy you know you could be sending that love out for someone but of course this cup is being offered here so we're gonna see what's going on the chariot wow amazing guys so look at this so here's this destiny train that's about to take off and i feel like for some of you you know you could be on like your path and doing your thing and things are taking off for you and you're doing amazing and then all of a sudden you get this offer because even like this offer is over here and she's kind of looking at it like wait, whoa, where did this come from? Dun, dun, dun. You know, here comes this offer from someone and you're, you've just been like doing your own thing. You've been Leo mode, you know, making everything around you work and happen. And it's also just saying like, be ready for goodness. Cause I know like Leo's, you've had a really tough time too. There's a lot of stuff. So we just went through the balancing and there's like a gold and a black sphinx here so for some of you like i feel like with this past month you've really been balancing yourself to really move forward and because you've overcome those energies you've now prepared yourself to be in this energy of receiving because you've been in that energy of healing and you've gone through all that so now you have all this room for new you've created that space and you're just kind of going on your way doing your thing and then this beautiful amazing opportunity comes out of nowhere but it's been a tough road you guys have been very burdened you know this is this is a lot of stress a lot of frustration a lot of pain you could have been dealing with situations that put you through a lot of 
you know, emotionally, physically, this is definitely physically burdening you. You could also be experiencing some health stuff as well, too. So just be really careful here. Um, this energy, too, you know, like it's, you know, are you going to get up and try again? You know, are you ready to just receive the good stuff? Because I feel like a lot of you might be stuck in that old pattern. You know, this is like, this is like when you haven't broke this yet, you keep doing the same thing, but expecting different results. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that after. I just don't want to forget about it. So uh, here we go. So for some of you, you're doing the same thing, expecting new results, but you're you're in the same situation. So if you haven't broken that cycle, then for many of you, you know, you're being asked to have this opportunity, especially, and I'm going to repeat this again, this can definitely be like what you're doing to yourself too, is imagine un all, all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So for some of you, you're like, do I get up and try again the answer is yes leos but just in case you know you might just need a moment here just to really refocus yourself and to pay attention to what you want and what you want to do okay so i feel like that's really relevant for someone yeah you're you're i don't want to tell you because that's part of the surprise but it fell out and it fell over now for the reason that I'll have to tell you later. But here we go, nine of wands. So this is an amazing, amazing opportunity for you to have the strength to continue, okay? So you do deserve new love. You do deserve to try this again. You are lovable. And here comes the 10 of pentacles. So just when you were about to give up, I'm so glad you stayed the course, guys, because here is the abundance with the 10 of pentacles. Look at the security. Of course, this is also fire energy, right, guys? So this can be you or you can be dealing with another fire sign Aries or Sagittarius but for some of you you know this can also be an earth sign that you're dealing with and this person is bringing you security stability abundance all this beautiful blessings financial security like you know this is this is just the epitome of abundance you have everything overflowing you know tenfold here so I feel like whatever you were like I don't know like I'm doing all this but it's not it's not showing anything the reward hasn't come in or the offer is coming in but you're not sure can I do it it again I'm kind of on a path already and then boom it's going to give you everything it's a friggin chest full of pentacles like how much more of a blessing so what it's telling you be ready to receive goodness you know a gift is coming to you soon this gift is you got new love on the table ten of pentacles Leo's get ready oh my god I'm so excited <laughs> and the hierophant we got abundance and commitment, guys. Here we go. So if you're dealing with someone, then you're already going to have this commitment issue. Of course, this is also the Taurus card, so you can be definitely dealing with an earth sign. They could be the one bringing this beautiful abundance. And for many of you, this is, of course, security. Now, the Pentacles deck, and because it's all over the Pentacles, there's suns all over, Leo. And, of course, you have suns on the chest, too. So this is for you. This is your gift, okay? I feel like whatever you endured and survived through, this is your blessing and your reward. And it is definitely a divine gift but i'm also reinforcing the part of definitely uh hierophant is always about commitment so for some of you you could be uh deepening your commitment with someone you could be going from a friendship to a relationship a relationship to like an engagement engagement to wedding however it relates to your situation you're you're leveling up in your level of commitment. If this has to do with education, then congratulations, guys. You've put in so much work and you've tirelessly worked so hard towards your abundance and pinnacles. And this is, of course, you possibly furthering your education, furthering your success, and of course, being in a position where people turn to you for advice. Because of course, this is also, I believe, a priest or pope here. I'm not a bishop. I don't even know exactly, but this is a person who talks to other people. So you could be a public speaker, you can definitely be able to pass that on. And when you're receiving goodness and you're sharing it and everything, it's an amazing energy. Awesome. And then under the Queen of Cups, we have the moon. So I feel like there's a lot of unknowns for you guys. Of course, this also means cancer for cancer cards here. So you do have possibly connecting with a Cancerian, but we have the energy with the moon. So this is maybe not known to you that this person wants to make this offer or that they want to come towards you with their cup. Maybe you're being secretive about this, that you're not offering your cup to someone. And again, the receive is here. So you have to open up for this. So I feel like so for some of you, if it's definitely unknown and you're just kind of like on your path, 
path and doing your thing, you're kind of unaware of what is literally coming towards you. So this is what's unknown. And of course, with the moon here too, we have a new moon now with the Scorpio. So that is definitely relevant. And of course, this is water card too. So Scorpio does indicate that too. So for some of you guys, you know, this offer can be coming now with the new moon season. And I was talking about new beginnings and we have new love. Like, you know, this is amazing. So this is a beautiful energy coming towards you guys. So this person has definitely attracted that. So just prepare yourself to receive Leos because you deserve this so much. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like also like if this process has been taking a while, this is confirming that the Knight of, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving pentacle. So even though you're on this journey, this faded destined journey, there's also it might be taking a little while. Maybe there's some lessons you still need to learn. You're resonating with people, but it's also still there's a little bit about your thoughts here that you still have to work on. OK, because it is reminding you to dissolve all your unwanted thoughts. And I feel like for some of you, if you're still focusing on those, then that is blocking and hindering this because she's holding all your heart's desires right? So you have to allow this. And if you're not clearing that space, this will take longer. But of course, this can be another earth sign making another offer. We have the queen of cups. We have the knight of pentacles. Now this can be a loving offer that's coming with stability, but it's a little slow because people need to feel secure. They need to feel safe and stable about their offer. And at the same time, the knight is looking this way and he <laughs> looking at the queen of wands that's you guys here now of course we have two queens on the table so we can be definitely dealing with same sex as well but we have the queen of wands guys this can be you leo this can be of course another or sagittarius or aries as well if we're dealing with other fire signs but it's the queen of wands under the nine of wands oh my god i think someone else got this too i can't remember if it was aries so you can definitely be connecting with an aries or you might have aries in your chart but there is a huge connection between the burden that you were going through. And I feel like whatever you went through, don't worry because this is all learned lessons, right? You are using this to your knowledge. This is all helping you to strengthen you. So whatever the difficulties and the time that you were meant to endure and the length that it was taking and the delays and everything, it's all part of it. All the times it didn't work, you had to get up and try it again. You learned consistency. You learned a lot of things through that. And I feel like for some of you, because you put in so much effort, you're going Going to be rewarded you know here she is she's got everything she's looking out she's learned all of her stuff her passions burning hot in her heart this is an incredible energy and with the queen and the wands here you know she's just determined so I feel like for many of you you might be determined to finish this you know you're not gonna sit down there you're just catching your breath and you're about to jump back up fix your crown and keep going however that applies to female or male guys because you've already been on this you're running on this journey here now we have the five of pentacles yeah so I feel like some of you can be feeling left out in the cold or some situation I don't know why, but I'm hearing church for some reason because we have the Hierophant right beside the Five of Pentacles too. So I feel like there could be something inside and you're kind of feeling like you're left out. Like there's, it's under the abundance. Sorry. <laughs> it's under the Ten of Pentacles here. So you have all this abundance, but somehow you're feeling left out in the cold. So maybe like you don't have anyone to share it with. Maybe you're by yourself here or maybe your person does and they're trying to bring you all this abundance, but you feel like you have nothing to offer. Or maybe you're feeling inadequate in the stability department or there's something that you just lost. Maybe you lost money. Maybe you lost an opportunity, but I don't want you to lose this beautiful abundant offer that's trying to come towards you. And I just want you to definitely, um, whatever this is or the person, again, this is more earth energy here too. So you can be leaving a uh, earth sign in the cold, you know, maybe you're choosing someone else. Maybe you're deciding that of course you can have earth in your energy too. So maybe you're feeling left out in the cold because you haven't received anything yet. You know, you're kind of, so this is where you have to be careful because you don't want to stay down. You don't want to stay in that low energy where you're not getting up. So I don't want you guys to stay here if this is you, but there is some form of loss here. Okay. Whether it's a, it has to do with your security or stability maybe there's something with work that's going to be affected but um but be positive right like we have to focus on the best side here so i feel like something's going to happen and it's going to put you in a situation where you might feel a little 
left out, you know? So just, we'll see what's going on here. Cause we got three cards for the outcome. They kind of flew all over the place and they landed everywhere. So we're gonna see what happens, yeah. Okay, so you have the five of pentacles and then the four of pentacles. So some of you are definitely possibly having a little bit of tightness with your funds here, holding on a little extra tight to your money. And I feel like that definitely has a little bit to do with the moon cause the moon is here too. So just be really careful. Don't overspend and stuff, but also don't be too stingy with your money. But this guy's holding on real tight. So you can be a little bit like, what's mine is mine. You know, I don't have a lot to offer you or I don't only have this much and I don't want to add someone. <laughs> if, if it's like that, maybe you don't want to receive money from someone. That could be possible too. Maybe uh, maybe you need money for school or you're trying to do something, but you don't want to, or maybe you're not getting that help if you're looking for it. But with the four of pentacles here, you know, he's also possibly a little bit greedy. So you have to be careful. This can be the person or this can be you too. You're just holding on really tight, okay? So don't forget to open up. You know, you've probably been scared. You've been hurt before, all sorts of stuff. You know, have the courage, Leos, have the courage to open up to this person. I feel like you're you're kind of holding it in because you're trying to keep the stability and that security. And you know that if love comes in and knocks everything off for you, so I feel like you could be really worried about that. But again, I'm going to inform it with the you deserve love you are lovable so don't just block yourself off okay like you want to make sure you're open to this and if you're not open to this you can't receive it right so if you're closed off and you're not offering then how are you going to receive and get and if you're not giving right so be careful with that because that could also be why you're being left out in the cold because you're not opening up to have this beautiful, oh my God, and the lovers, guys. You could be connecting with Gemini. This is, of course, the lover's energy. Here's Gemini card. In this tarot deck, of course, you see all the water. So this is beautiful love, beautiful connection. Here's this two lovers here completely and just in, taken away with each other. So I feel like this new love can definitely be coming out of nowhere. This person, you're just, all you can think of is them. The only thing you want is them. So this is a beautiful union here between two people. And I feel like maybe you're not opening up to this. Maybe you're worrying about it. You know, again, we have the secret. So maybe you don't know about this opportunity or you're not sure if you want to offer it but I feel like some of you are left out in the cold because you're not ready to receive this or you're not like this is clarifying the four of pentacles and we still have one more but I feel like for some of you you're not making this commitment you're kind of holding back still even though even though you know you know this is a new love or true love and you're deepening your friendship you know like you're nurturing your bond with this person the person that you're connecting with and maybe you're just being scared to receive this because you've been hurt before yeah Here's the hangman. You guys have to make this decision. So I feel like for a lot of you, you need to really, the first line says, be open. Be open to receiving goodness. Be open to receiving this person, guys. Leos, you have to open up if you don't want to be left out in the cold. So don't take this time too long thinking about this, okay? So if there's someone that stirred your interest, they already love you. We already have look deep within your heart. You will feel my love. They're sending their love to you, Leos. But I feel like many of you aren't feeling it. You're still cold or you're making them feel cold because they're here coming with this abundant chest and you're just kind of offering them. You're not you're meeting them halfway, but you're not even meeting them in the sense of like offering the same you're just coming from where you're coming and I think for some of you you're worried about that too because you don't have the same means to offer to them as well possibly but I feel like for some of you this lover opportunity here like you can't let this go guys you're getting a beautiful gift with this connection and I just don't want you to waste too much time thinking about it, right? Because the longer you stay thinking, the slower the chariot's going to go and I feel like that's why every, even, even the knights looking at the queen, looking at the five of pentacles and looking at the hangman, like, hello, are we doing something? <laughs> are we going to make this happen? Or you're just going to keep holding back because the longer you hold back, the slower the process is for you guys to come together. So please be ready to receive this amazing love because, of course, this is also the soulmate card, guys. So you could be connecting with a Gemini. You have the soulmate energy here. So this person is, is you know, they want to offer you their cup and they want to have this beautiful, abundant, secure, loving relationship with you with the Queen of Cups. And it's very passionate, very hot, Leos. You guys are very in demand, very sexy, very attractive. And you have that attraction. So attract, just, just open up. Open up, guys. Let down your guards. 
don't don't keep fighting this okay I feel like you're just fighting and blocking it for no reason when really you're just meant to allow it and of course this can be them too and for some reason I feel like someone's definitely gonna bend a knee you know like whether you surrender or they surrender but for some reason I also saw that too that someone will be giving into this connection and I really hope you do guys because it looks so beautiful all right, we've got a few more minutes left, so I want to do this really quick. We're going to do your oracle card, so congratulations, Leo. This looks like a great week if you're ready to receive it. And then we're going to use, um, I do a lot of crystal therapy. So I, uh, you can't see my whole setup, but I have crystals everywhere, so I'm always sending you love abundance, health, uh, protection, all sorts of beautiful energies that I share with everyone. Of course, I use them myself. And this is uh, the Crystal Angels Oracles. So these are going to be based on specific crystals. And then the message is going to relate to how that crystal would apply to you in your situation. So take it however it resonates or vibrates. And if you have any questions about it, I do crystal therapy. So if you have questions about how to use them, what you should use, what you need, what you want to have around you or wearing, or, you know, supporting your environment or protecting you, all that stuff. I'm your girl for that. So feel free to message me, ask me, and of course, check out my Instagram because I'm always posting stuff like that about what's good for your zodiac, what's good for your person. And if you have something specific, an ailment or whatever, you can actually use crystals for that too. Okay. So here we go. You have three crystals. So I'm excited. And then we still have one more Oracle surprise after. <laughs> so here's your first one. Fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Of course, Leo's natural beauty. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Did I not tell you guys? You guys are on fire. Everybody wants you. You're like the epitome of a, everybody loves a Leo, okay? You guys are attractive. You're smart. You're witty. You're funny. You know exactly what to say all the time. You guys are beautiful, beautiful people. But sometimes you get scared, right? It happens. You're worried. You're afraid of putting yourself out there. So you kind of keep yourself out in the cold because you're scared to take that step to step into the warmth step into the fire guys take that fire energy use your power and go get your soul made okay so that's your first one we use your second one clear quartz let yourself feel all your emotions your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So I think for some of you, that time that you need to spend to receive this is to receive these messages. So possibly clear quartz will help you with that because it'll also clarify and bring you clarity and bring you and bring you the messages you're needing to receive, okay? So I feel like, so, so far we have fluorite. Sorry, I don't know if I held this up for you guys so you can see it. So here she is. And of course, fluorite, Fluorite has many forms and many colors and they have many different purposes as well. So be yourself, just be you and be authentic. And you know, um, the hardest part Leo's is, is sometimes facing our fear, right? And our fear sometimes is a lot of things that we don't know, but if we don't clear those unwanted energies, we don't make room. We already went over that. Rubulite, passion and purpose. Well, you already have passion because you're a Leo, so here we go. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So awesome. So for many of you, this is also reminding you to get into that passion and find that purpose that you're wanting to drive yourself to continue. So you're not working anymore because it's a job. You're doing it because you're loving it. So maybe for some of you, it's about switching from like, oh, I have to be here and I'm doing it and it's not successful and it's not fulfilling me, but hey, it pays my bills. Maybe, because maybe some of you aren't even making that much, to finding something that gives you abundance and happiness and joy and brings you that fulfillment on all levels, okay? Now, the next one I'm really excited about. Um, I'm a person of faith. If you're not, that's totally fine. So no disrespect either way, okay, guys? Just loving energy. But uh, if you do pray or you do believe in God or anything, I'm using the Archangel Michael deck. So I'm adding these, and these are in the form of prayers. So if you do pray and you want to pray with me, then all you do is you put yourself into prayer form, however that is, and you can pray to your God. But the messages are the same. The point is just to receive the message and how to reflect towards it. So if you don't do it this way and you prefer meditation or anything else, then just consider the concept of the idea of the thoughts, okay? So here we go. So your first message from Archangel Michael. And we have, we have three as well. We got three. So threes could be significant for you guys. You had three of everything today. So here we have guarded and protected. And the prayer says, 
So again, put yourself into prayer mode if you wish. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and for all others to accept heavenly assistance. Amazing. So you are protected. You are safe, guys. Make that gesture. Open up and receive this new love. Amazing. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. And I can't reinforce what I've been telling you this whole reading any more than this. And here we have guarded and protected and listen to your dreams, okay? So Leos, please probably keep a nice little book beside you. So when you wake up and you have something and it's fresh in your mind, write down in detail because you're gonna notice patterns. You're gonna notice things. Here we go, let go of fear now. Again, another one asking you to release all these unwanted thoughts and dissolve them into beautiful things. We're creating room. Your message for letting go of fear now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So I think for some of you, you have to get rid of your scarcity mindset and you have to get rid of holding on too tightly to things because I feel like this is part of what's suffocating you, okay? I feel like this is what's preventing you and I think that that is what's blocking a lot of this stuff because you're on this hangman energy. This is not gonna give you your blessings. They can't come in if all of this is going on, okay, Leos? So you really have to focus on releasing this. Release the fear. You're protected. You're guarded. Everybody loves you. Just, just embrace it. Be yourself. I know sometimes it's scary. And those who love you, it's perfect. The ones that care don't matter and the ones that matter don't care. So just be yourself anyway, okay, Leos? So much blessing, so much light. If it resonated, like it. Let me know. Leave in the comments how the situation applies. Again, if you have questions, guys, email me anytime. Check me out on Instagram. And blessings and see you guys soon. Bye.